All right, the last thing we have to go over is how to solve an inequality, and the steps for solving an inequality are going to be the same as solving an equation. If necessary, you distribute, then you add or subtract with the variable, making a zero pair, and if you're multiplying or dividing with the variable, you do the inverse operation. There is one difference. It is when you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the symbol to make the inequality statement true. You don't have to add or remove the underlined symbol when you flip the symbol. And let me kind of show you why this is true. So let me just give you an example that we know that 3 is less than 5. And so, ooh, that's not going to work. Let's use that 3 is less than 15. Now, if I were to multiply by positive 3, we would get that 9 is less than 45. And it works because I did it to both sides. If I were to do those same numbers and I were to multiply by negative 3, we would end up with negative 9 being less than negative 45. Well, we know that not to be true because negative means the opposite, and so therefore that is not true. If we were to say that um, even more so, if we were to say negative 3 is less than 15, we could say that negative th multiply both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 because the signs are the same, whereas 15 times negative 3 is negative 45. We know that 9 is not less than negative 45. It's not true. So when you multiply or divide by a negative, in this case I use 3 and negative 3, you must flip the symbol in order to make that statement true. So the first six examples are ones that we are not required to flip the symbol. And it tells you you're not going to flip the symbol. You'll also notice I've only given you very teeny tiny number lines because we don't need to make super large extravagant ones. So when looking at the first one, 2x is less than 24. To solve this, we divide both sides by 2 because division is the inverse of multiplication. And we get that x is less than 12. So 11, 12, 13. We put a dot at open circle at 12. And we're shading everything that is less than 12. The second problem, we have x divided by 9 is less than 4. Inverse of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by 9. And we end up with x is less than 36. So we have got an open circle at 36. We know it's open because the symbol is not underlined. And we need to shade everything less than 36. Going on to the next one, 5x is less than or equal to negative 75. Inverse of multiplication is division. So we are going to divide both sides by 5. And we get that x is less than or equal to negative 15. So when we make our number line, negative 16, negative 15, negative 14, I just staggered mine to make it a little easier to see, we know that we have a circle at negative 15 and that that circle must be filled in because it's less than or equal to. So it includes the negative 15 and we want to shade everything that is less than it. Okay, x plus negative 7 is greater than negative 5. We make a zero pair with negative 7 by adding 7. And we note that negative 5 plus 7, the signs are different, so we subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2, and the larger absolute value is 7, and it's positive, so our answer is x is greater than 2. We then need to have an open circle at 2, 
because we're not including two. We're saying x is more than two. X is greater than two, not greater than or equal to. And we shade everything to the right. The fifth example, x divided by three is greater than negative 15. We do the inverse of division, which is multiplication. And we get x is greater than negative 45. And so we have got a circle at 45, and the circle is open because we're not including 45. It just needs to be greater than 45. We then need to shade everything that is more than negative 45. So we go to the right, everything that is more than it. Negative 44 is more than negative 45. And then for the last one on this page, we have x minus 19 is less than or equal to negative 56. We make a zero pair with 19 by adding 19 to both sides. And then we have to follow the rules of integers and we note that the signs are different so we're gonna subtract. And we end up with 37. And then we say that 56 is larger, is the larger absolute value, and it's negative. We have more negative, so therefore it's x is less than or equal to negative 37. We have got a circle at 37. And that circle needs to be closed because we're including 37. We're saying it's everything is less than it or it's equal to it. And now we shade everything that's going to be less than 37. Now let's take a look at some examples where we will flip the symbol. So again, the first example, you'll notice that some of these numbers look familiar, and that's just because I'm not super creative when it comes to making up these problems. Negative 2x is less than 24. We, are go we know we're going to have to flip the symbol. When we take a look at the previous page, you'll note that there was no number that was multiplied or divided with the variable that was negative. In the first one, 2x, 2 is positive. In the second one, x divided by 9, 9 is positive. Third one, 5x, 5 is positive. The fourth one's addition, so we wouldn't flip it. The fifth one, x divided by 3, 3 is positive. And then the sixth one, x minus 19, it's subtraction, you wouldn't flip it. When we come to these, in each case, the number that's multiplied or divided with the variable is negative. So this tells us this is what's going to tell us to flip it. For the first one, negative 2x is less than 24. Negative 2x means multiplication, and the opposite of multiplication is division. And we have 24 divided by 2 is 12. The signs are different. We know it's negative, and our symbol is going to flip backwards. So we have that x is less than negative 12. We know that it's going to be an open circle at negative 12 and we want to shade everything that is more than negative 12 so we shade to the right. Again, we had to flip the symbol because the number that was multiplied with x, the number that we divided by, we put on our paper divide by negative 2. The fact that we said divide by negative 2 is what is telling us, hey, we need to flip the symbol. Looking to the second one, negative 9x is less than 90. Same idea. We are dividing, we're, gonna, or we're multiplying by a negative, which means we're going to need to divide by a negative. And we get that x, or that 90 divided by 9 is 10. Signs are different, answer is negative and our symbol's going to flip. So we get that x is greater than negative 10. We know that we had to flip the symbol because the number that was being divided by, the number multiplied by x, was negative, and that's what told us we had to flip the symbol, meaning the negative 9. Now we then put an open circle at negative 10, and it's open because we are not including it. We are not including it because it would have a um, underline with it if we were including it. Since we are not including it, it's an open circle. And then we're going to shade everything that's more. So it's everything to the right, including the arrow. Taking a look at the third one. 
five, negative 5x five is less than or equal to negative 75. We do the inverse of multiplication, which is division, and we divide both sides by negative 5. We end up with x, and 75 divided by 5 is 15. We know it's going to be positive because negative 75 and negative 5 are both negatives, and then the symbol flips. Notice in each of these cases that for the first two, they were less than and they flipped to greater than. For this one, it was less than or equal to. It flipped to greater than or equal to. The or equal to part doesn't change. If it starts as an or equal to, it will end as an or equal to. You can't add or subtract that little that line underneath the symbol. The only thing that will happen is it will flip back and forth. So we draw our number line. Oh, and we end up with x is greater than or equal to 15. And we've got a circle at 15, and the circle needs to be closed because we are including the 15, and we are shading everything that is more than 15. Taking a look at the fourth one, we have x is greater than negative 3, excuse me, x divided by negative 3 is less than 24. Since we are dividing, we know we're going to have to do the inverse, which is multiply. And we now end up with multiplying by the negative 3. 24 times negative 3 is going to be negative 72. We know it's going to be a negative because our signs are different. 24 is positive, 3 is negative. That means the signs are different, so our answer is negative. And then our symbol flips. On our number line... This is an example of why you don't make these really big number lines because there are times where the numbers will get to be bigger than you want to deal with and you really don't want to start at zero if you're having to go up to negative 72. Makes for a big number line and a lot of waste of time and a lot of waste of paper. We are saying that everything is more than negative 72 so we shade to the right because it's greater than. Looking at the fifth example, x divided by negative 7, we're going to multiply because multiplication is the inverse of division. And we end up with x and 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Our signs are the same. Excuse me, our signs are different, and that's why the answer was negative. 2 was positive, 7 was negative. And then because we multiplied by negative 7, we put times negative 7. Because we wrote that, that tells us we're going to flip the symbol. Most people don't want to write or spend the time writing those steps, but just taking the 30 seconds or minute to write down every step the way I'm doing is going to make things easier on you, and it's going to help ensure that we cut down on the number of careless mistakes that students are tend to make while working on these. We have an open circle at 14. It's open because we're not including it. It's just less than. It is not less than or equal to. We then shade everything that's less than negative 14. Remember, with negatives, you have to think opposite of. And now time for the final example in inequalities. We have x divided by negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 12. So we multiply both sides by negative 5 because multiplication is the inverse of division. And we have negative 12 times negative 5 is a positive 60. We know it's positive because the signs are the same. Both 12 and 5 are negative. And then we're going to flip our symbol so it goes from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. We draw our number line, or label our number line rather. We're going to have a circle that is closed on 60. And then we're asked to shade everything that is less than 60. So we shade everything to the left, and that is x is less than or equal to 60.